New danger on Queensland's doorstep. Tonight, China and the Solomon Islands sign a defence pact. The PM forced to explain what's been described as a huge foreign policy failure. Big changes to interstate COVID isolation rules. We ask when will Queensland follow suit? We have urgent advice for drivers that could save them $20 on a tank of petrol. Emergency landing on board a hot air balloon as it comes crashing down on a suburban street. The Flying Blanket Fort, Qantas grounds local crews for cheap New Zealand workers after they complain about conditions on long-haul flights. And a family fishing trip no one will forget. Tonight they tell us about the one that wouldn't go away. This is Nine News Queensland. Good evening. A clear and present danger is emerging on Australia's doorstep tonight after the Solomon Islands signed a security pact with China. Having put national security front and centre of the election, Prime Minister Scott Morrison today found himself accused of one of Australia's biggest foreign policy failures since the Second World War. While the election campaign rolled on in Australia, with more than $60 million pledged for defence jobs in Adelaide... A strong economy means a stronger future. ..and a fight over pay and conditions in Brisbane... The cost of everything is going up except for people's wages. In the Solomon Islands Parliament, Prime Minister Manasseh Sogavare confirmed his nation had struck a security pact with China. Let me assure the people of Solomon Islands that we entered into an arrangement with China with our eyes wide open. China's propaganda machine whirred into action. China has always been a builder of peace and a promoter of stability in the South Pacific region. The US and other individual countries have been smearing China for no reason. But Beijing's smears are Australia's very real fears. I think what we'll see is an attempt to do what China has done in the, in the South China Sea, which is to build a naval base. And that would be a real and present danger. What a military base would do is create a threat to Australia from our east coast, which we haven't seen since the Second World War. We don't particularly want another version of a little Cuba off our coast. In a campaign where the coalition is parading its national security credentials, Labor took aim at the government's much-touted Pacific step-up strategy. This represents the worst failure for Australian foreign policy in the Pacific since the end of World War II. Australia was warned that a deal was being planned last year. A draft of it was leaked on March 24, but it was 19 days after that that a junior minister was dispatched to the Solomons for talks. It Whether shows it the government dropped the ball. No, it doesn't. Uh, it absolutely doesn't because uh, we're responding to very challenging circumstances. Now, why was Maurice Payne not sent to the Solomon Islands the minute the government knew that this deal was coming to a head? And is it a failure of your Pacific Step Up program? No, I think, no, no absolutely not. Um, this, this is highlighting the very real issue that we have been working on for many, many years. This is no surprise to us. Scott Morrison said his first trip as Prime Minister was to the Solomon Islands and the government has had more than 100 meetings with Pacific leaders. One issue is always at the top of the agenda. The risk of China seeking to interfere within our region I have known about and have been taking strong action about. This is an argument on national security the opposition leader is keen to have. Australia needs to do more than step up with a slogan in the Pacific. It needs to step up with real engagement. The two men will have a chance to debate it when they come face to face in Brisbane tonight. Chris Yulman, Nine News. Yes, as Chris said, the leaders go head to head the first election debate they've having in Brisbane tonight. Political reporter Eliza Edwards is at the game.